What, you mean it's not true? Wow, I am shocked, shocked. Hello there, it is I, the Jordy Nerd, and I am back again with another episode, another episode, can't even do the words today, uh, of South Park, season two, episode six. Um, yeah, I'm enjoying South Park, it's a crazy wild ride, and I am all for it. So thank you for watching these. Uh, link is in the description for the Patreon. If you want to help support the channel uh, and all my other social media links are down there as well. And yeah, that's about it. Let's just get in this now and have some fun. Now the new law passed by Colorado legislature, which Ned and I call Pussy Law Number Four, states that we can no longer kill animals in defense. In other words, our old line of "It's coming right for us." It's coming right for us. No longer works. So now <laughs> oh. we only kill animals to quote thin out their numbers. If we don't hunt, then these animals will grow too big in number, and they won't have enough food. So you see, we have to kill animals or else they'll die. Logic. The logic in that. Yeah, so I suppose that's why there's only so many of, like, a certain lion. Because if you didn't kill them, they'd die. Buggy, Ned, there's some deers. Quick, Ned, thin out the numbers. And thin out their numbers. <laughs> Good work, Ned. Now they won't starve. That wow, I mean, they didn't stand a chance there with the flamethrower. Who's next to take a shower? Me! I am! You just think we're laughing, silly. Oh, where can I hide this big pot? Uh, maybe he was. The Mexican staring frog of southern <laughs> Sri Lanka. Now, as you all know, the Mexican staring frog of southern Sri Lanka can supposedly kill you with one horrid gaze. If a person even so much as looks into the frog's eyes, they can be paralyzed or even die. Oh, wow. I mean, I love stuff like that. Uh, there's a show about finding Bigfoot, and it's had so many seasons, and I haven't found him yet. I wonder why that is. Now watch carefully. You're going to see the Mexican staring frog. There. There, did you see it? Roll that back again. Now freeze it. Well, I'd like to know what all you skeptics have to say now. What? That is a leaf. I mean, I love it when they get, like videos of ghosts and stuff and ufos but it's on like cameras from like the 1980s fun but not like going to the circus fun or fly fishing in montana fun no vietnam was more like shoving shards of broken glass up your ass and then sitting in a tub of tabasco sauce fun whoa yeah bro, that's where me and ned met i mean that does sound seriously fun the new privates are here i'm assigning one of them to you as a trainee ned gerblansky Ned Gerblansky reporting, sir. Thanks, Oh, Ned. wow. Now, the bad guys have been... He's got, he's got both these arms and he can talk, so obviously what happened to him happened in Vietnam. <laughs> oh, wow, he did it to himself. And that's the way it happened, boys. Wow. Man, Vietnam was sweet. Great news, guys. Your TV show ratings have doubled. Wow. They've gone from six people to 12. Holy smokes, we could get an Emmy. That's almost like, wow. Yeah, that, I was supposed to say almost double, but it is doubled. I wish I had an audience like that. Christ. So was the horror of Vietnam. The end. Yeah. Are there any questions? Yes, Mr. Garrison? Yes. Uh, where the f*** did you hear this ridiculous load of bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> what? You mean it's not true? Wow, I am shocked. Shocked. Well, Stan, thanks a lot for having such a cool uncle that got us our detention for a week. Yeah, dude, your Uncle Jimbo sucks ass. Shh. <laughs> Why would he just invent a story instead of telling us the truth? Well, let's see. Maybe because he's an old drunk hillbilly dick. Shh. <laughs> we gotta get him back, dude. Totally. How? Well, he screwed us by making something up. I say we do the same thing. W what do you mean? Did you guys ever see that one Brady Bunch where the guys... Yeah, wow. That, I mean, or you could just, you know, tell the teachers to ask them and then get out of detention. But yeah, let's do your thing instead. If you look the Mexican staring frog in the eyes, you can go catatonic. We don't know if this applies to pictures of the frog or not, but who wants to take chances? So when we roll this film, be sure to look away. Okay, roll the film, Tom. <laughs> Is it over? Okay, it's over. Well, there you have it. Undeniable proof that the Mexican staring frog of southern Sri Lanka exists. 
I mean, yeah, most definitely. That is 100% proof. And now I am catatonic. I just kind of do things. I can't even speak. That's how catatonic I am. That's right. He's a very brave man and I love him very much. I'm a king. <laughs> well, let's see if the audience has any questions. Yes, uh, you over there. I think she needs to kick him to the curb, baby. Kick who to the curb? Her no good husband. She's got to lose that zero and get herself a hero. Well, how brave. How brave. Uh, I think we've somewhat missed the point here. Let's go to somebody else. Mm. Yes, just a touch. Montero, I think we're forgetting something very important in all of this. Okay, sure, he touched some children, but the man is a great singer and he has entertained us for so many years. W what are you talking about? Michael Jackson. All this bad math and putting the man down. Maybe he did touch some children now and then, but come on, it's Michael Jackson. <laughs> Michael Jackson! <laughs> So that makes it okay. If he did do it, it's because of who he is. It's fine, right? Makes sense. <laughs> well, it appears as though a lot of you skeptics thought that the film we showed of the Mexican staring frog of southern Sri Lanka was a fake. They say it didn't harm anybody. Well, it just so happens that we just received another film from another anonymous viewer. Roll it. Yeah, that, that 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 was amazing. That was well directed and everything. I think Danforth wanted a log ride more than anybody, but he he had to settle with that lame dinosaur water adventure ride. That war was hell on everybody. <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. Bye. Great news, everybody. This week's ratings are through the roof. We're up to twenty people. Wow. Do we get more money? No, but I do. We're now the highest rated show on Mountain Cable <laughs> Access. God bless the Mexican staring frog. Wow, that's how it works then. Cool. I couldn't help overhearing your conversation just now. Who are you? I produce a little TV show called Jesus and Pals. You might have heard of it. Your story is amazing, full of jealousy, duplicity, backstabbing, and bitterness. Uh, thanks? How would you like to share your remarkable story with us on tomorrow's show? Funny how that worked out in their best interest. We've been hunting the Mexican staring frog for... That, that's like when I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to make videos. And then that's one person just like, me mate, just like, well well done. Good good for you. And then every other member of your family laughing in my face. Like, it'll never work. It'll never be successful. Yeah, it may not be successful. But you know what? At least five people watch these and they like them. So fuck you. Because he's on drugs and he worships the devil. <gasps> Jesus! 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 Wow. Now, Stanley, it sounds like your uncle's really worried about you. Well, he did it because Keith molested me. <gasps> Why, you little piece of crap! You Holy fuck, that took a turn, didn't it? We're sorry for turning Ned into a vegetable. Ah, oh, he'll be fine. I'll just take him home and show him some good hardcore porn. He'll snap right out of it, won't you, Ned? I mean, that is the cure to all life problems, really. Just big old boobies. I want to apologize to all of you for what happened in there. In our competition- I mean, I was joking, but I mean, like, do you know what I mean? What is this? What's happening? So she's in Newcastle now. Welcome to my dominion. Ah! Hey, take a load out. Put your feet out. Me and Satan were just about to go shopping for furniture. Come on, Satan. Okay, honey. Honey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Satan and Saddam are lovers. <laughs> wow, uh, this, again, another great episode. Uh, they're all amazing. Uh, there's something I love about every single one. The fact that the... I've forgotten the name, the Sri Lankan frog thing. Just great. I love stuff like that. I really do. I love the absurdity of them, and I love watching TV shows about stuff like that. So, yeah, this is a really good one. Thank you as ever for coming out. I do appreciate it, and I'll see you all again very soon for more South Park reaction videos.